नमस्ते हमेशा खुश रहो बेटिया I am champion Dr. Indkor of Saxena, delivering this video lecture, 19 September 2023, on the topic of group breaks. Hello and welcome. Today we are diving into fascinating group breaks from the homeopathic repertory. For second feeling. This rubric is an essential aspect of understanding a patient mental and emotional state, and it can guide us in finding the most suitable remedy. So let's explore what this rubric really means and how we can apply it in our practice. We begin with the definition. Let's define the term for second feeling. In the context of homeopathy, this rubric refers to a profound sense of abandonment, isolation, and despair that a person might experience if not just feeling lonely. It's feeling completely, utterly forsaken by everyone and everything around her, him, he, or she. Example of case to this rope. Let's consider a case study. Imagine a patient who consistently feels disconnected from their family and friends. Imagine a patient who consistently feels discontent, disconnected from their family and friends. They believe that no one cares about them and that they are entirely alone in the world. This emotional state of abandonment and isolation is what we call a forsaken feeling. One essential aspect of homeopathy is the repetition of symptoms. We look for this for second feeling in various aspects of patient. Are they feeling for second in their relationships, in their work, or in their social influence? Identifying where this feeling is most prominent can help us choose the right thing. Now let's discuss how to select the appropriate remedy based on the four second feeling group. Homeopathy has a wide range of remedies and each one addresses specific emotional states. For example, Natramure is a remedy known for its sense of abandonment and isolation. When a patient exhibits a four second feeling primarily in their relationship. Natramure 
may be a suitable choice. Analyzing the patient overall case is essential in homeopathic practice. We consider not only the four second feeling, but also other physical and emotional symptoms, as well as the patient constitution. This comprehensive approach ensure that we select the most accurate remedy for their unique condition. In conclusion, the four second rubric is valuable tool in homeopathic practice, helping us understand the emotional and mental state of our patient. Why identify and addressing this feeling, we can provide them with the healing they need to re regain emotional balance and well. Second rubric is benevolence. Let's start by understanding what benevolence means. Benevolence means in context of homeopathy, it represents the remedy, inclination toward goodwill and charitableness. Reflecting a deep-seated desire to help and benefit others. Now explore some of the remedies that are associated with this rubric. Keep in mind that these remedies exhibit a strong inclination toward benevolent behavior. Like agaricus, ammonium, mule, anacardium, baritacar, aurum, belladonna. Calcarea car, carcinosin. Pulsatilla, sepia, silesia, spongia. Spongia, sternum, sulfur. It's fascinating how these remedies embody the concept of benevolence in a unique way, offering valuable insight into patient cases. As homeopathic students, it's essential to understand the nouns of each remedy benevolent nature. That reflects our explanation of the benevolence of it in homeopathy. I hope you found this information insightful and valuable for your homeopathic journey. Third rubric is affectionate. Explore the rubric. Explore the rubric in the homeopathic repertory. Understanding this rubric is essential for selecting the right remedy in cases where a vaccinate behavior play a significant role. The rubric represents a state of settled goodwill, love, attachment. It donates an affection that goes beyond the normal limit and may sometimes be a cause for concern in a patient behavior. 
in homeopathy this opiate can help us identify remedy that ad address excessively affection or its related symptom now let's take a look at the homeopathic remedy associated with the affectionate topic remember that remedies that these remedies may have other indication as well but they are known to have a strong affinity for cases where excessive affection is a prominent feature affectionate include aconite agaricus arsenic alcohol as a fatiga Veraica car, Velatona, Borax, Calcaria car, Calcaria Foss, Caustica, Carsoni, Carsonese, Coffea, Cruda, Colosin, Cruprum Metallicum, Cruprum Metallicum Muraticum, Delcamara, Calisal, Lilium, Natrapure, Phosphorus, Platina, Podophyllum, Fresh Dogs, Stramonium, Thea, Thuja, Veriliana, Vanilla, Veritrum Alpha, etc. These remedies connected the rubric of vaccinate. Thank you for watching this video on the affectionate opiate from the homeopathic repertory. We hope you found this information relevant for the homeopathic study. If you have any question, would you like to learn more about other topics or remedy? Please leave to leave comment below. Thank you.